What's up guys? When people hear the word bodybuilder, they probably think of some unusually massive dude or a real buff chick. Now, some people think that it's really cool and that their bodies look fantastic. Others see them as freaks. Now, regardless of how you feel about them, there are some truly extraordinary bodybuilders. Some of them have charisma, others are simply enormous. There are those who are entirely deformed. Okay, so today, guys, you will see five extraordinary bodybuilders that deserve your attention. Jacques Sayag. Jacques lives in Paris, on the street. Yep, that's right, the guy's homeless. And like most homeless people, he lives on handouts. But apart from that, this dude is a bodybuilder. Unlike other homeless people, Jacques consumes all kinds of protein cocktail, gainers and energy bars. Street bodybuilder Jacques looks about 50. He starts his day from pull-ups on his handmade bar. Then he proceeds with training his arms and shoulders. He does that with rubber bands. Jacques can't afford to buy dumbbells and barbells, so he uses everything that comes at hand or does exercises that doesn't require any equipment. For instance, his favorite exercise is push-ups. Even though Jacques is a homeless guy, he sticks to a very strict diet. He eats veggies five days a week and gains 1,500 calories every day. Jacques has become a street hero a long time ago. Tourists often come to make photos together with Jack, and kids really like touching his biceps. Jacques says that despite the fact that he's always naked, he never gets cold or catches flu. The most important thing for that guy is to make children be proud of him. That's his dream and the meaning of life. Big Lanny Just like all bodybuilders on our list, Big Lanny is an exactly usual guy. Lady has big belly and hanging buttocks. But that doesn't stop him from taking part in competitions and get more and more famous every day. He also shoots his training sessions on video, where he boasts about his appearance and feels comfortable talking about it. Lenny is 190 centimeters high and weighs 140 kilos. When asked about why he's got such a big belly, he says that he eats a lot to keep his perfect shape. Did you guys notice that despite the belly size, you can still see a six pack? Lenny really likes attention, you can tell that. It's funny he says that he has 140 kilos of pure muscle and contains a serious face while he does that. When Lenny was younger, he used to weigh a whole 205 kilos. Well, it's pretty cool when a guy does what he likes, enjoys the process, and if that doesn't hurt anybody, well, that's just brilliant, it's great. Caleb Matamba is a body guy who's only 130 centimeters high, but he sure has a character. He weighs only 32 kilos. Caleb was born in Congo, and it was clear that there's something wrong with that guy's development from the very beginning. He was always shorter than his peers, and by the time he was 14, Caleb's growth stopped. But Caleb is not a soft pancake. He's a very persistent and hardworking guy. Where many people would give up and start crying, Caleb kept on rocking. He started training at 12. Already back then, he knew he was gonna be strong one day. He started training at home first and soon moved to the gym where he spends five days a week now. Despite all the idiots that often pick on him, he's going strong and already shows great results at the local contest. Gunnar Anderson. This young man went through a lot of difficulties before he could become a bodybuilder. Gunnar was born without pectoralis major muscle. Despite that, Gunnar started training very hard and was able to achieve great results. When Gunnar was a little kid, he was very thin and shy. He couldn't take his shirt off in public, and that's quite obvious. Poor guy developed inferiority complex. But later he managed to overcome his fears and started working really hard in the gym with a trainer. The result came soon enough. Right now, Gunnar is an online trainer and a fitness specialist. He became a great example for those who never even thought about attending a gym. That guy inspires others, and I think that's really great. Gunnar has his own YouTube channel, and it's a pity that he hasn't got much followers. So I'll leave a link in the description, and you can check him if you like, okay? If you guys are not subscribed to Real Bizarre yet, then go ahead and click subscribe button. 
and click that bell near it too, because the coolest stuff is yet to come. Colin Clark Colin Clark is 22 and he works on the reception desks in the gym. Clark has a genetic disorder known as the Down Syndrome, but that didn't come as obstacle in achieving his dream becoming a bodybuilder. Ever since Colin was a little kid, he was interested in sports. He's been watching films featuring Arnie and collected sport magazines. You can really tell the guy was passionate about the whole thing. Back then, he didn't expect his dreams to come true, because one of the symptoms of this disorder is a muscle tone decline and growth deficit. It means that it makes it really hard to keep shape, not to mention actual bodybuilding. It all started when Clark met a famous trainer, Glenn Ubelhoer. Ubelhoer mentioned that never in his life he's seen a guy this disciplined and purposeful. The result came swift. Only a year ago, Clark's weight was more than 90 kilos, with more than 30% fat, and after a year of intensive trainings, his weight was 66, only 10% of his body's fat. So, after he worked very hard for a whole year, Clark was ready to take part in a bodybuilding contest. He took the honorable fifth place. Our young bodybuilder won't stop now, and he suggested all you guys should work hard and follow your dreams. And I'm totally agree with Clark. Don't stop dreaming. You can't stop believing. Work hard, guys. That's all for now. Press thumbs up, and again, thank you so much for watching.